and we've gotten more footage from near the village of um, Krustelny, where we've seen the Tachka attack that took out the armory earlier on, I believe on day one of this week, day 113. And we got more footage of it from the Russians. It's a bit of a long film, but it's still really good. So here's the video. So we can hear the Russians having a little bit of chaos here. We can hear a little bit of explosion in the background, which means that the Tashka attack may have already happened, and that's the ammo blowing up. Can't really tell where the explosions are coming from at the moment. They actually sound a little bit like artillery. So we hear them, of course, discussing in Russian. Now we can hear this man has bronchitis. And it seems like they're sitting in the truck. Nice Nikes, by the way. But it seems like they're sitting in the truck and trying to figure out what to do. Now we can hear them getting back out of the truck. And now it seems that the explosions have gotten a little closer to them. The explosions just keep going. I think the art I think the ammo depot has already exploded, and what we're hearing is the ammo cooking off within it. Now they're running, but we can't tell really where. They are running for their lives. We can now see the man with the Nikes again. And the explosions are getting more and more ferocious and louder and louder. We can now see shrapnel. Okay, now we know what's happening. We can now see shrapnel popping off the dirt right there. You can see it right, see. right there. Shrapnel's popping off the dirt. The ammo depot's exploding and sending shrapnel fragments everywhere along with the shells. They're now running again for their lives, and the explosions are getting even closer and even louder. Things are going into a hell in a handbasket for these guys, and they are freaking out. We can now see the explosion from the ammo depot. We can see them taking cover for a second as they now try and figure out what to do next. Oh my god, this is insane. There's now rockets flying out of it! Oh my god! This is insane! This is the craziest one we've ever seen! This thing is blowing up so bad! Literally, it's firing off MLRF, like rockets like it's a grad! Watch that again! Oh my god! They literally made their own battlefield! There goes another one up there! And there goes another one! The Russians are getting bombarded with their own ammo depot. There goes another one! This is insane. I would hate to be in here. This is like hell. We now hear another rocket flying off. going 
on, and they're hiding behind this little stone wall here, thinking that this is going to give me, like, protection, I guess. And the rockets are still flying over them. <laughs> it's just blowing up back there. I mean, like, thousands of tons of ammo, it sounds like, are going off just about a half mile away from them. Oh my gosh, something's caught on fire on the other side of the street. Oh, that's going out of control over there. It's about to catch that tree on fire. Oh my gosh, that fire is raging over there. And the, and the, oh my god! Okay, wait a minute. It, <laughs> things went from bad to worse. A fire broke out on the other side of the street from something that flew over there and then exploded. And then something goes flying through the air and lands over there. And it's like some kind of an artillery shell that's a high explosive maybe because it creates an ungodly sized explosion and pretty much removes the tree from the earth. Oh my god. <laughs> These poor guys. I mean like... I can kind of sympathize with them, but then again, they're Russians. We're now watching them get rained on by splinters of wood and stone. They're rocking around like it's an earthquake in Japan. The air is filled with smoke. I mean, like, they're literally sitting within, within a massive explosion right now. Seems like they're trying to run again, but I don't think any amount of running is going to help them now. They've now gotten into a building. Oh my gosh, it doesn't stop wherever they go. Now there's this red twilight coming from outside. This is the craziest video I've ever seen. Now it looks like hell out there. Oh my gosh. So now Satan himself has risen from the ammo depot and has created purgatory outside the front door. Satan's now torturing the souls of the damned out there, and the Russians are just waiting their turn in the house. The explosions are getting closer because they're getting brighter. And now smoke is filling the building. Now we can see a fire burning right outside of the house. And we see someone using a lunch tray to try and take a look out there. outside with a lunch tray and you're about to see something fly in and it catches like the whole room on fire and they're trying to run out. So they're standing there with a lunch tray and then the whole room catches on fire. I don't know from what. Wow. So now they're trying to run out of that room, probably halfway on fire. Looks like the roof's on fire. Stuff still exploding outside. Glass is shattering. <laughs> they're, they're laying on the ground. There's nothing but fire outside. Look at that, Matthew. That is insane. This is insane. These guys are literally living through hell already. And everyone 
Everyone keeps telling me that this footage just keeps getting better, and I'm just in anticipation now as to what's about to happen. So now that room's caught on fire, and now they're running outside through hell. They're now crawling through the fire. They're like clawing their way through it. We can't even tell what's going on anymore because the footage's so blurry. Now they're in another charred building, but this one looks like it's already been burned out. There's so much ash in the air, it looks like snow. Oh my god. This is, the worst, this is the worst thing I've ever seen on film. Luckily it's adding to the Russians, but jeez, I would hate to live through this. This is like this is like Pompeii. We now hear them trying to figure out something again. Now they're running again through hell itself. Now we'll see they're trying to climb over a burning fence. They made it over, but the camera is almost upside down. They're now climbing over a window pane that's on the ground. Now we can hear a woman. Now they're running through the fire again. We don't know where they're going anymore. They're just running through just like raining artillery shells. The explosions are still going off. And the footage is just a blur at this point. They're just, they don't even care about the camera anymore. They're just running for it. They're off. <laughs> They're running back to Belgorod. That's Usain Bolt. <laughs> yeah, that's Usain Bolt, the new Grease Lightning. He's running so fast, the ground's literally just a blur. 